everyone kind of roots for the underdog. The FA Cup's the underdog's cup. Well, that is some ovation. That's what it means to these supporters. It's a decade since Sheffield United, then a third-tier club, reached the FA Cup semi-finals. Someone mentioned it when we got through to the semi-finals about how long ago it was since the last time that Sheffield United got to the, to the semi-finals. And here's a chance for Milo! That'll do it! A fifth goal for Hull City! It's the end of the road for Sheffield United. Just a few months earlier, Bradford City were losing in the FA Cup second round and a skinny 17-year-old was just starting out. Your debut, do you remember it? I think I do, but now I'm doubting myself. Ten years ago is a long time. Was it Rotherham? It was. Yeah, yeah, I was getting pumped, 3-0. And then the gaffer put me on with about 10 minutes left and said, go change the game, so yeah, cheers for that gaffer. That was a... Uh, Enjoyable uh, <laughs> plunge into first team football. I'm sure my family will remember it a lot better than I do, you know, but it's a big day for a professional footballer, it's, it's the professional debut. A decade later, Ollie McBurney is playing a key role as United close in on promotion to the Premier League and a semi final. I think the, the FA Cup was kind of. It was never really at the forefront of our mind and it kind of just happened, you know, we just won game and then another game and another game and, you know, you end up in the quarter-finals with a chance to go to Wembley and that's probably the, the first game where we thought, hold on a second, you know, we've got a chance to do something special here as well. But it's no secret that the, the Championship's always been our, our priority this year, you know, getting out of the Championship automatically is, is our goal and is still our number one goal. The Scottish international is back amongst the goals this season after scoring just once in the last campaign. The last couple of years have been fairly frustrating personally, you know, whether it be you know, injury, you know, getting ill, not playing well in general. Um, it's been tough, man, because you know, everyone knows me, knows how passionate I am and how much I want the, the team to succeed and I want to succeed personally. This year, yeah, I felt, I felt really good going into the season. I felt really good all year. It's been a pleasure to play with the boys this year. I think we've, we've got ourselves in a great position, rightfully so, and you know, to be a part of that and to, to help the boys as much as I can with that has been, has been really rewarding for me. And McBurney's good form is partly down to his blossoming partnership with Illimon Unjai. He's a special kid, man. He's, we always knew he had the, the raw ability and you know, the mindset to get there. It was just whether he could translate that onto an 11-a-side pitch. And I think our first game together that we played, my friends after the game were messaging me saying, oh, have you and Illy played it together a lot? Because it looks like that, you know, and we never really had before. You know, it's just one of them things in football, especially with strikers, you can... You can kind of have these partnerships where where you kind of know each other what are each other going to do and you know it's been it's been thoroughly enjoyable to play with him this season. I think he's a lot of the reason why I've been able to get back to, to into good form this year. In February, McBurney's long-awaited first FA Cup goal arrived for the Blades in a fourth-round tie at Wrexham, and against the man who handed him that debut for Bradford ten years ago, Phil Parkinson. I've got quite a good record against Parkinson, so it's a. Uh... It was nice to get that goal. I was just coming back from it from my from my ankle ligaments that had ruptured in that game, so that was nice to get my first goal back from that um, to kind of kick me on again. And like I say, when we played Blackburn, it was like we've got a big opportunity here to get to to get to Wembley. And you know, we were kind of unlucky to, to find ourselves two one down. And it was just about getting that getting that goal to get back into the game. And once we scored that second goal to equalise, you know, I thought there was only really ever going to be one winner in that game. A Doyle, good hit. Oh! What a goal! And this fantastic cup tie surely has a late winner. On loan from Manchester City, semi-final match winner Tommy Doyle can't face his parent club. But United will believe there can be another special day in an outstanding season. We could have got a nicer draw in the semi-finals, but you know it's exciting challenging yourself against the, arguably the best team in the world. Even from my personal experience of playing the two years that, that we did play in the Prem, I think. City, they just keep the ball off you so well. Uh, every player is so comfortable on the ball. We're up against it, I can't stress it enough. But they're only human, they're only footballers, you know. Um, no one's unbeatable. Oh, Holland gets his chance and gets his goal! Yeah, maybe he might not be human actually thinking about it. Nah, he's, he's ridiculous, isn't he? He's probably the best number nine in the world. Being in that team, you know, he gets unbelievable service. But, you know, his movement and his finishing is incredible. And, yeah, it's something that I can look up to, you know, being younger than me, but I'll definitely look up to a big boy in it. 
In the Premier League era, Sheffield United have played four FA Cup semi-finals and narrowly lost all of them. If they can consider themselves unlucky not to have reached a final, now they need to change that. What are you saying? We're due one out here. We're due a, a bit of luck. Now, nah, listen, we take it. It's a free hit, you know. No one expects us to get anything from the game, so you know, we go in there with, with clear minds um, to go and go and do whatever we can to upset the upset the apple cart. So, just chatting, and the McAllister shirt, these are the boots he got the assist for Di Maria in the World Cup final. <laughs> he wore, wears them boots all the time, that is incredible. Unbelievable! They've made it to the Emirates FA Cup quarter final and this fan base have been exceptional.